what I wanted to specifically mention is your father and the value of your father. I'm going to do my best to keep my emotions in check. I will do my best, but no promises. There's the Bil Walidan and the orders of Allah. That's number one. But really what I want to mention to you is my brothers, no one on this earth, no one on this earth will love you and care for you more than your father. No one. Your father is the most valuable person in your life. Irrespective of who he is, with all of his flaws and all of his mistakes, he is your father. And yani, I don't know what else to say. Yani, how do I say it in a way where, brother, you know your father? He owns you. You know your father? He owns you. You know what he owns you means? He owns you. He owns your clothes. He owns your shoes. He owns your money. You know your money? If your father, if, if, I'm not encouraging fathers, I'm just giving you. If your father took every single dollar you own, you have nothing in front of Allah. You have nothing in the Islamic courtroom. You have nothing because he owns you. He owns your wealth. He owns your clothes. He, he owns everything about you. He owns you. That's your dad. And don't ever think in your life that any man on this earth will ever love you and care for you and want goodness for you more than your father. Impossible. I'll challenge anyone. Wallah, the kaf. You know, if your father slapped you with all his heart, the kaf from your father is more beloved, is should be more beloved and dearer to you than a thousand hugs from the boys on the street, from a thousand hugs from your wife, from a thousand hugs from your children, because that cuff that comes from your dad, you know exactly where it came from. Whereas those hugs on the streets and those hugs that come from your wife and those hugs that come from the Wallah, you don't know what price you're gonna pay behind those hugs and those smiles. But whereas with your dad, you know exactly that when he whacked me, as much as it hurts, you know it came from the core of his heart for your goodness only. Our fathers are deeply flawed. No one is perfect. Sometimes your understanding of Deen is 10 times better than his. But he's your dad and he owns you. Wallah, the shoe that your father wears, you know, the shoe that he wears, you should put it and wear it on your head like a crown. Not because of the value of the shoe. May Allah raise you all in ranks but of the value of the one that wears it. It's your dad. And it is unbelievably selfish that a young man comes and says to me, but why can't I do what I want? Wallah, brother, I've got news for you. You, my brother, and you, my sister, you didn't fall from the sky. Someone bled and cried and broke their backs to watch you grow and become a young man. You're owed and you're in debt.